Hey guys, welcome to the morning routine. Josh and I are going to take you through full body cars, starting with the legs strong, feet rooted into the floor. Go ahead and fist your hands next to you, engage through your abs. Body should be holding tension about 30% effort. We're going to start with the neck. Chin drops to the chest. Scrape that collarbone with the underside of your chin as you look right. Continue that circle all the way around and back through to the left. Find that chest again with your chin and lift. Reversing directions. So we'll go about two reps in each direction for each joint. You can just follow along with us. I'll give you a couple of coaching cues and we will try to do everything facing front as well as facing side so you can see what we're doing. Last rep here, this neck car chin drops to the chest, scraping that right collarbone. Look left, scrape the left collarbone, and lift. Next, we're going to go into shoulder blades. So Josh and I are using a yoga block to have a little pressure of the hands. Lift the shoulder blades, separate the shoulder blades, slide them down, and pull them back. Lift, separate, slide down, and pull back. Reverse, reach forward, lift up, pull back, slide down. Reach forward, lift up, pull back, slide down. And we'll turn to the side. So when we're lifting, we wanna think shoulder blades become your earrings. Sliding down, think slide them into your back pockets. As you reach forward, think separate the shoulder blades or feel a little hunchback and then squeeze them back in together. Go ahead and set that down and we're going to go right into our shoulder joint. Fisted hands strong next to you. We'll start with that right arm. External rotation as the bicep comes to the ear. Internal rotation as you circle the arm around and back. Thumb presses back and then externally rotate to round that circle and come forward. We'll go one more rep on this side. Coming across the body, when you hit that first roadblock, freeze, engage through your abs more, and then internally rotate to reach around and back behind you. Back of the hand lands at the hip. Thumb presses straight back, and now unwind that doorknob as you reach all the way, palm up, come across the body just a bit, reset at that hip. And then we'll go into that left arm. External rotation as you come across the body and up. Bicep finds the ear. Internal rotation as you reach the arm open and back. Back of the hand lands at the hip. Thumb presses straight back. Turn that doorknob as you round that corner. Bicep comes back across the body. One more rep. When we hit that first roadblock again, internally rotate as you reach back, keeping the torso as still as possible. Thumb back, stretch through the shoulder, and now externally rotate or spiral open with that bicep to come across the body. We'll come back facing the front now for elbows. We're going to do both elbows at the same time. Palms up, lift, palms down, and press. Palms up, lift, palms down, and press. I'm going to imagine those forearms are pressing through mud, so we reversed it there. We will do a couple of reps facing the side. You want to make sure that the shoulders stay stable and the elbows aren't pulling away from the body. Really wringing out your forearms. You should feel a little bit of bicep, a little bit of forearm by the end here. You want to do a couple of reps starting with the palms up and a couple of reps starting with the palms down. Then we're going to go into our wrist car. So we're just going to stabilize our working wrist with our other arm. Flexion. Fingers down toward the floor, toward that thumb, pull up and in. One more circle in that direction. So what we're focusing on now, two in the opposite direction. Move toward your thumb first. What we're focusing on here with that opposite arm bracing is that that forearm doesn't turn or twist. So we also like to use that cell phone balancing on the wrist like we did in the tutorial, or you could balance a yoga block there keep you really honest with that circle. You should feel also quite a bit of forearm burn here. We'll get two reps in each direction on the other wrist. The other thing that you want to watch for here is that the fingers, the hands, aren't starting to mutate and make all kinds of crazy shapes. But I like to think of our the palm coming toward you or the center of the palm 
initiating that circle and not the fingers. Next, we are going to be transitioning to our hip. So if you want to grab on to something to hold for balance on your supporting side, go for it. Or just brace your um, upper body and your supporting leg really strong like Josh and I are going to show. So we're starting with that right leg. Externally rotating the right leg as you lift up into flexion. Carrying that picture sideways until you hit that first roadblock internally rotating the femur as you circle the leg back and behind you. I'm a little speedy here. Picking the leg up, think push back and with the heel, then lift side, externally rotate as you come out and around. We'll go one more rep, turn to face the side. Lifting the leg up in that turned out position, carry that picture side, internally rotate. So that knee's going to drop, the heel may lift. You can see Josh has much more internal rotation than I do on this side. My knee drops pretty significantly. Here, push the heel back as you squeeze the glute forward, lift straight side. Then externally rotate, try to drive the knee up toward your armpit as you carry across the body and reset. Other leg. Externally rotate and lift. Come across the body just a little as you come up into flexion. Carry side, internally rotate, try not to stick your butt out or dump your pelvis forward, lowering that foot. When you reset that foot, maybe we get a little hamstrings, really drawing that heel up toward the glute. Lifting the knee up toward that armpit as you find that external rotation and carry around forward and reset. We'll finish one more rep facing the side. Josh has both hands balanced out to the side and I kind of switch from both hands out to one hand wrapped around my rib cage. It's good feedback for me. Last rep here, the heel lifts, push the heel back, squeeze the glute forward. Lift straight side, then find that external rotation. Carry out and around to the front and lower. Next we're gonna transition to all fours. So we're gonna finish up with cat cow, knee, ankle, and toe cars. So we'll start in that camel or cow position, that spinal extension on all fours. We're gonna initiate tuck the tail first, so tailbone to head as you reach and find that cat stretch position, as deep into that cat stretch as you can find, and then releasing tail to head back into that full spinal extension. I really like to use focus here, so you can see that Josh and I are trying to keep our eyes or our head as lifted as possible for as long as possible as we go into that cat stretch. And then here I like to think about looking in between my thighs or keeping my focus at my knees for as long as possible to lengthen from tail to head. Staying engaged through the shoulders at that end so we're not sinking in that upper back. So we're gonna spin around now for knee cars. So this is where we are physically moving the kneecap. We're seated here on the floor and we're gonna take each kneecap, push it side to side, up and down, and circle it around in each direction a couple times. If seated on the floor doesn't feel good on your hips or your low back, you could always be propped up. You could be doing this laying, sitting on your bed, sitting on a chair with one leg up. Just wanna get into a spot where you can get that quad of the knee you're working really relaxed. And then we're going to go knee cars here. So we're going to hook under, but same thing. You could be standing, you could be seated upright a little to get out of that hip. So we're going to externally and then internally rotate, then internally and externally rotate through the shin from the knee down. Going right into our ankle, flex the foot, Circle out around toward the toes, two in this direction, and then reverse. I like to imagine my foot as like a rubber spatula scraping out the batter in a bowl. We'll go other side. So we're going to start with that patella. So you're literally going to touch your patella, push it right to left a couple times, push it up and down a couple times, and then circle in each direction a couple of times. Might feel a little crunchy, might feel like some sticking points. You just wanna move it as much as you can through a pain-free range of motion. And then we'll set up for that knee car. So I'm just kinda of hooking under so I can watch my shin. Externally rotate the shin, extend, 
internally rotate the shin and flex. Turn it out and lift, turn it in and lower, reverse. Keep it turned in and lift, turn it out to lower. So here I usually feel pretty good burn through the outside of my shin. Onto that ankle, two circles in each direction. We're going pretty quick through each repetition just for time, but at any moment if you feel like one joint needs a little bit slower range of motion, please do so. And now we're onto our toes. Lift all five toes up, all five toes down. All five toes up, all five toes down. And now we try to lift just the big toe here by itself and then the little toes by themselves. And you can see that Josh is using his hand to push the other toes down so they don't get involved. So if you can't articulate through your toes, then you would just follow what Josh is doing. And then we're trying to lift the toes up and then place them down one at a time and pull them up one at a time. And maybe that doesn't happen quite yet, and maybe it does. So again, on that other side, we'll start all five toes up, all five toes down. And again, we're doing this in the combat position so that you can see a little easier, but you could be doing it standing, seated, whatever feels the most comfortable. Big toe lifts and lowers a couple of times. And then the little toes lift and lower a couple times. And again, if you need that assistance, you can see Josh is pressing that big toe into the floor to get the little toes to lift on its own. And then we're going to play the piano with our toes to finish it off. And that, my friends, is your morning routine. Great job.